Hi, I'm Aaron from Command Fusion and I wanted to take some time to run you through one of the lesser known features of the IR Blaster called IR Rules. First, let's take a look at the IR Blaster. It is designed to literally pump out IR in many directions at once, filling a room with infrared. It is useful in situations where you have many devices that you don't want to run an individual emitter to. The IR Blaster has 12 emitters on the front and the side of the unit. This gives it a coverage of 270 degrees. On top of that, it also has an external 3.5 millimeter output, which allows you to connect a wired emitter if required. It also has an IR receiver on board, as well as an input for an external receiver if required. The IR Blaster can be used to recognize incoming IR codes and fire off a macro of actions on the CF Link bus such as transmitting another IR code from the internal blasters. We call this feature IR rules, and we're gonna showcase this today to show you how it can be used and why it is useful. So to demonstrate how we can use IR rules, we have set up some demonstration equipment. We have a Samsung television and a Sonic Blu-ray player. We also have the two remote controls for these devices. So normally, if we want to watch a Blu-ray disc, we need to turn on the TV with the Samsung remote control Turn on the Blu-ray player with the Sonic remote. Hit the play button on a Sonic remote, then adjust the volume on the Samsung remote. So you'll see that the Samsung remote control has Blu-ray controls on it designed to control a Samsung device. We're gonna use these buttons to control the Sonic Blu-ray player using the IR rules in the IR blaster. Using the Samsung remote control, I can turn on the Blu-ray player and control it as though I'm using the Sonic remote. You can imagine how this might be useful. So this is how it will work. We're going to use a Command Fusion IR learner to learn the codes that we want to transmit to the Blu-ray player. We will then program the IR blaster so that when it receives the commands from the Samsung remote, it will blast out the commands that the Blu-ray player expects. So let's take a look at what we need to do to get this working. Firstly, we need the following items, a Command Fusion LAN bridge, an IR blaster, and a Command Fusion IR learner. We will also need a power supply. Secondly, we will need to make sure you have downloaded the latest beta versions of both System Commander and the IR learner software. So firstly, you will need to use your IR learner software and the IR learner itself to learn the commands for the Sonic remote. These are the commands which the IR blaster will be outputting to control the Sonic Blu-ray player. If you don't know how to use the IR Learner software, you can check out our quick start video for the IR Learner. So learn the commands that you want to send to the Sonic Blu-ray player and save the IR file. We then need to start a new file and learn the commands for the Samsung remote. These are the commands that the IR Blaster will detect before sending out the appropriate Sonic code. Learn the codes for the Samsung buttons you want to use and then save the second IR file. Then start System Commander. You will need to make sure you have the latest version of System Commander as well as the latest version of firmware installed on your devices. If you need to learn the basics of System Commander, then we have other videos for you to watch and learn this. For now, we will assume you know the basics. The first thing we need to do here is upload the IR files to our IR Blaster. So navigate to the IR Files tab of your IR Blaster and upload both IR files you just created. Do this by clicking Add File and navigating to where you save the files. When the file has been added, you can see that you can expand and see what commands are in the file itself. Upload both files. To upload to the device, we click Save to Device. Uploading these files is not totally necessary, but it does make things simpler for us later on. Then we go to the IR Rules tab. We will create a macro for each Sonic command that we want to send out, so there will be separate macros for all the commands we learnt. Then we will be creating an IR rule, so that when it receives a certain IR code from the Samsung remote, the IR Blaster will activate the appropriate macro thus controlling the Sonic Blu-ray player from our Samsung remote. So firstly we create our macros. Do this by clicking Add Macro, enter an appropriate macro name and click OK. 
We will then use the Action Builder to add an action to our macro. Click on Action Builder. From the Action type, choose IR. Then choose the IR Blaster that you're going to send commands from. Select port 1, which is our onboard IR Blasters. And choose Mem, which is our onboard memory, which contains the IR files. Click Build. Under Device ID, you will see we've got the two files that we uploaded. We will select the Sonic file. Remember, we are programming the code which the device will blast out. Select the function that we want to send. So this one was Power, and click OK. Click OK again. So the Action Builder has just built the command for us. Basically, this command just sends, send the code from IR Blaster with CFLink ID of 1A. If you want, you can click the Test Command button, which will tell your IR Blaster to send out that command right now for testing purposes. Click OK. We then need to create a macro for each code we want to send. So do so with the rest of the commands you learned. For the purpose of this video, we will focus on one command only. So once we have added all the macros, we then need to add the IR receiver rules. So we click Add Rule. Add an IR rule name. We are going to use the red button on the Samsung remote. We will call it Samsung Red. We then need to go back to the IR Learner software and right click our red button code. Click Copy STR Code and go back to System Commander. Paste this code into the When IR Code box. Then from the drop down macro name, select Power On. Make sure that Onboard Receiver is checked and the Perform action is Trigger Macro. So what we have just done is created a rule that when the red button code is received from our Samsung remote via the onboard receiver of our IR blaster, we want it to send out the power code for the Sonic Blu-ray. Click OK. You will then need to go through and do the same for each command you want to set up a rule for. Once you have done that, click Save to Device. This will upload the rules and macros to the IR blaster. You can now test if it works. Point the Samsung remote at the device and hit the red button we programmed. And there you go. The Sonic Blu-ray player turns on and we can control it from our Samsung remote. So that's it. An easy way to program one remote to control many devices. There are many different uses this functionality could be used for, such as creating a macro that closes the blinds, turns the lights off and sets a TV source, all from one button press.